Zero to Hero, a series of videos showcasing Cisco's ability to deliver zero trust without complexity. This is the ninth and final video focusing on securing the remote worker. Time to test. So let's test out that secure remote worker with the addition of Cisco Secure Endpoint. So we're gonna install the endpoint. We're gonna do this manually. We could push this out using any connect or any software distributor, but we're gonna do it manually because it's a lab. We're gonna ask access malware to trigger an indication of compromise. Then we're gonna go into the dual access gateway launcher and if everything's working right, we should get denied access based on the threat level on that asset. Then we'll clear out the IOC, reduce or removing the threat, and then we'll try dual access launcher again and we should have success at that point in time. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and download the connector. Now, we're gonna select a group. We're gonna do this for Windows and we're just gonna copy the URL. Because we're going through a lab type um, uh, scenario here, it's easy to use the URL. In reality though, you're gonna push this using, like I mentioned, a software distributor or integrate it with any connect. Now we're gonna jump over to the RDP station, uh, workstation, and we're gonna copy and paste that, or paste that uh, URL in, and now we've got the application ready to be installed. So we'll go ahead and install Cisco Secure Endpoint. And that'll go through the installation. It's fairly quick, and it's a lightweight connector. It's not like a traditional AV product that's very, very heavy. Uh, it's very, very lightweight. Why? Well, because we use the cloud for a lot of the lookups. Instead of having a complete database or a subset of database on the, on the machine, which obviously um, increases the size of the installation. You can see it's connected. It's not isolated and it's protected uh, based on that policy. Let's jump over to the other RDP machine. And we'll log in here. Once logged in, again, what we'll do is go ahead and we'll paste in that URL to download the endpoint client or connector. So there it is. Let's go ahead and do the installation. Select yes. And remember, Cisco Secure Endpoint has a lot of capabilities from host isolations to having the ability to do forensics on the assets or a fleet of assets. Um, and then it's got all that endpoint detection response capabilities on top of all the protection mechanisms built in. We'll go ahead and hit next and we'll close out and we finished the installation. Now we're protected, everything looks good. We're gonna go try to pull some malware down as a sample and we can see it failed. We're gonna check that in a second. But before we do that, what we need to do is we need to sync up um, group policy to ensure that we've got the latest Duo Device Health Agent installed. Now we're doing this manually again. This is just the script that we put on this asset. We're doing it manually because we don't wanna wait. And um, because we're going through this lab-based scenario, we wanna see the outcome. So we're enforcing this to happen. What you're gonna see here is automatically um, that's gonna get installed. So we have the dual health agent um, as part of the dual installation on the endpoint here. And health is looking for posture, right? So let's open up a browser. Let's now try to log into that application. So we'll go ahead and put in our username and password here. This is our primary authentication. Go ahead and log in. And we should see a push. What? Huh? This device has been blocked for accessing this application. Contact your IT help desk. What happened? Well, the malware was downloaded or attempted. An IOC was triggered. AMP for endpoints went ahead and told Duo about this potential compromise. And Duo said, well, based on policy, we're going to deny access because there's an IOC that was triggered on your endpoint. That is really, really cool, right? Because now I've got the second layer. If I was compromised, 
and someone was trying to screen scrape applications, as an example, I'd never get into that application because second factor isn't there, even though they may have compromised my primary credential here. So let's go ahead and check this out in Endpoint AMP. So we'll go to Inbox. We can see here's our workstation here. We drop it down and you can see a little bit of information about the asset and you can see the threats detected. Again, we could pivot and look into this and investigate and see everything that happened. In our case, we just want to mark it as resolved. And we're going to go back to our um, remote desktop. We're going to refresh. And if everything works right, we should get that push. Let's bring over the iPhone so we can see what's happening. And you can see there it is. We cleared it. The threat is gone. No risk. And the user is able to access the application securely and safely. Thank you.